Hello. 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 Today we're going to start by uh, talking the session number nine, and this is present continuous. Okay, we're going to wait a few minutes before we start. Hello, evening. Hi, David. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine. That's good. Welcome back after vacation. How was it? Was good? It's good. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, I want to say hello to everybody. Good evening. Thank you for being here. Hello, David, Damari, and, and Kat. I'm happy that you are here. So, yeah, uh, I feel that after one week, how was your weekend? In your case, how was your vacation time? Was good, more or less, or not so good? How was your vacation? In my case, it's good. Okay, nice. That's good. Do you do you have time to be at home? Do you do your errands? Something uh, that you can relax a little bit? Yes, that's fine. Rest. <laughs> 
That's good, that's good. <laughs> okay, so today we're gonna talk about that. Your How was your vacation? But let me start with the session number nine. Can you please tell me what is the topic for this session? Present continuous. Perfect, amazing. Let me ask you one question. What do you remember before vacation? What topics do you remember? Progressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what else? Simple fast. Simple, Simple fast, uh -huh. Nothing else? No, means okay, so that's okay. So we're gonna do the review for those topics today and as well to talk about press and continue. But let me start for an activity here. Uh, can you please uh, read the, the slide, David? It's game time. Okay, so we're gonna have a game to wake up, wake up. Okay, game. So let's talk about that. Hi, Jacqueline. Welcome, Jacqueline. So let's talk about counting. Do you know, for example, you're gonna help me to count. So let's do it. Uh, David, Damari, you're gonna be group number one. And Jacqueline and Kat, you're gonna be group number two. For example, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a picture and you have to tell me how many are in the picture. So let me give you one example. Right, you have number one. That's an example. Second. Okay, so you have how many monkeys do you see? Uh huh. But you have to be super fast. 14. Okay, so Damari says 14. Are you sure? 15. Okay, so Damari first. Let's see. Yeah, so Damari, you're group number one, right? Yes. Okay, yes, teacher. So number one, you had the first point. Now, let's go to the second level. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, group yes, teacher. Number two. Okay, so who tell me who is gonna tell me the answer? Ah, Jacqueline says 14. Oh, okay. Ah, uh -huh, for this one. Six, seven, sixteen. Okay. But you have to who say sixteen? Who say sixteen? Damari. Okay, let's see. If Damari is incorrect, is the next person says sixteen. And who has the opportunity? The others. 17. 17. Jacqueline, there you go. Group number two, you have one point. Okay, so one and one. Let's go to the next level. Difficult. Let's see. Next level. Give me one second. Let's wait a few seconds. Okay, next level. Okay, let's see. Group number one or group number two. But, but how many pics do you see? Okay. 15. 15. Okay, David, go ahead. What do you say? 15. 15? 15. 13? Yes. Okay, let's see. Yes! Okay, David's group, group number one, you have two points. Let's go to the next level. You have to be fast. Okay, let's see. Next one. How many fish do you see? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, let's see. Cat, what do you say, Cat? Eleven. Okay, let's see. There you go, one and one. Group number one, you have three. Group number two, you have two. So let's see. This is the last two. Who is going to be the winner? Okay, let's see. 
Pam, 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 pam. How many mice do you see? Uh -huh. Five, four, three. Okay, so Jacqueline says 15. Let's see. This is the Jacqueline's opportunity. There you go. Group number two, you have three. And group number one, you have three. So now is the last opportunity. Dun, 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 dun. The last one says, how many sheep Four. Sixteen. Okay, let's see, David. This is for group number one. Now or never. Fourteen. Fourteen. Damari says fourteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay, for David first. There you go. Okay, the winners is group number one. Applause for group. This is for David and Damari. Very good. How are you so good counting, uh, David? How are you good? Why are you good counting? Are, do you like math? Yes. Yes? I like math. Oh, that's why. Okay, so you are so cool, boy. Super, super cool. Okay, let's go to the next activity. Pum, 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 pum. Damari, can you read the instructions? Okay, teacher. What do you do the last vacation? Very good. So the last vacation was basically August. Okay, so it was one week. Some of you have three days, two days, or one day. So, but you have to give me an idea. Give me, for example, on Monday. Remember, si van a decir el lunes, van a decir on. On Monday, I did this, 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 this. On Tuesday, this, 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 okay? Are you ready? Okay, okay so let's go. You have approximately four minutes to talk about your last vacation. What did you do the last vacation? Last vacation. Okay. In the last vacation, it was raining a lot. And, and I visited my family for one or two times. The, it was the, the last... Uh, <laughs> How do you pronounce jueves? How do you say jueves? I don't remember the word. Hi, ah, Jacqueline. 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 Hello, Jacqueline. Okay, let me give you another partner, okay? Okay.
David, you have a new partner. Okay. I, Mireya. Okay, something happened to Mireya. Okay, let's work together. Tell me, David, how was your vacation? What do you do? Okay. Um, I tell to Jacqueline uh, the the last vacation was the the raining a lot. Uh -huh. And then uh, I visit my family um, two times. Um, the first day is, uh, is the first time uh, uh, I visit uh, my family in, in Santa Ana. And, uh -huh. and we drink a uh, atol de lote and, and eat tamales de lote. Okay. And, and then I I went to to the Cibar Park only really? to only only to see because I don't I don't do uh, subirme en las ruedas. How do you say, teacher? Uh, in the fun fair? Yes. I didn't get on. I didn't, I didn't get, get on. on the ferry wheel. Uh, I didn't get on. Yeah, the ferry wheel is el como la Chicago, for example. Como no me subía la, a la, a la, al free fall tower. So they are different. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I, I don't like uh, a lot the the la <laughs> You don't like the fun fair. Only see the taga. <laughs> oh, that's amazing! So you love seeing the people, right? Yes. <laughs> Me too. Okay. So, but you didn't get on. No, that's the reason. You didn't get on. No, no. No. Okay. Just see. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's go back with the others, and I'm gonna give you the the vocabulary. Okay. 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 Thanks. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Okay. Welcome back. Uh, before we continue with the with another partner, let me give you the vocabulary. When you went to the fun fair, I have some work for you. Okay, for example, fun fair means uh, ruedas. Uh, for example, el, el Cibar, uh, el Playland Park, it's general way. We had the box ticket, everybody repeat, box ticket? Box ticket. Okay, the girls, box ticket, Ah, box office, I'm sorry, box office. Box office. Okay. They is la cuando le venden los boletos. Everybody ticket. Ticket. The roller coaster. Roller, roller, roller coaster. coaster. Okay. What is a roller coaster? Montaña rusa. Ah, very good. Popcorn. Popcorn. Okay. A ferry wheel. Ferry wheel. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. Okay, fortune teller. Fortune teller. What is a fortune teller? When someone try to predict your future. That's right. Very good. Balloons. 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 Okay. Magic mirror. Magic, Magic mirror. mirror. Actually, there is a house for you go to consumer. There is a magic mirror house. You know where you go and see the mirror. Ghost train. Everybody goes train. Ghost train. Ghost train. Hot dogs. 
hot dogs. Carousel, everybody, carousel. 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 Okay. Knockdown. What is a knockdown? Knockdown. What is that? Um, I don't know. Idea or somebody? Okay. Bolo con la pelota. There you go. <laughs> That's a knockdown. Then we have the bumper cars. Bumper cars. Ah, you know what is a bumper car, right? What is a bumper car? Carro Chocón. The fairground? Como la feria. There you go. It's another way. O fun fair. If we have a merry-go-ground, what is a merry-go-ground? There you go. A amusement park, se puede decir como el fun fair. Es el a free fall tower. Everybody repeat. Free fall tower. Free fall tower. Okay, este es como el... Actually, that's the name, right? When you go yeah, voladora. <laughs> then we have train. Everybody train? Train. train. Yeah, dijimos Garden Candy. Ticket booth. Esa es otra palabra para el box office. A ticket booth. Everybody, ticket booth. Ticket booth. Okay, phone house. Phone house. Phone house. What is it? Is the same as circus? There you go. Very good. It's a synonym. Ah, okay. Then we had the jumping castle. Everybody? Jumping castle. Jumping castle. Very good. Go karts. Go karts. What is the difference between go karts and the bumper karts? Bumpers and go karts. What is the difference? Go kart I use in print. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, for example, go cars is actually it's a sport. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then we have the shooting gallery. What is the shooting? Shooting gallery. Shooting. Shooting. <laughs> What's the shooting? This is similar to the to the uh, the knockdown. No idea. Como el de dardos, shooting gallery. Okay. Y qué me qué me decía David? No chair wins. Chair wins. Chair wins. Uh huh. Then we have the boat swing. Boat swing. Boat swing. Okay. Then we have the food court. You know what is a food court, right? Food court. What is a food court? What is a food court? Any idea? Um, El Doritos. Okay, uh, usually they have different restaurants. For example, Metro Centro has two popcorn. Okay, we had the popcorn. What is popcorn? Popcorn. Palomitas. Very good. A strange tester. Everybody repeat. A strange, a strange, strange. tester. 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 Any idea? Prueba de fuerza. Okay, we had the cup and Swisser. Cup and Swisser is the como el ah uh, what is the name in Spanish? Carrusel de taza. <laughs> Okay, that's right. I'm sorry, saucer. Cups and saucer. Everybody repeat. Cups, cup and saucer. Cup and saucer. 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 Okay. We had the haunted house. Boo! 
Everybody, haunted house. Haunted house. Ah, uh -huh. this is for horror, okay? Fairy wheel, everybody, fairy wheel. Fairy wheel. Fairy wheel. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. Okay, so you can say, I went to the fun fair. How do you say, me subi o me monte? Right. I ride. I ride a roller. There is another word. For example, when you, for example, for cards, there is a word. Do you know the word? I get on. Ah, uh -huh, get on. Subirse y get off es bajarse. Okay, so you're going to go with a partner one more time. You're going to talk about your uh, vacation time. And you can mention, if you visited the fun fair, what did you see? If you get on and get off of the any, any fair ground or for the roller coaster. Are you ready to go to the next practice? Or you can say, I don't like fun fairs, or I like uh, free, uh, for example, I like cotton, I like uh, the fun fair, or I dislike. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, yes. Then you go with feelings, Monday. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. The same. Okay, tell me, do we see it at the Bumper? Bumper? I don't know what pronunciation. On fire. Uh, in my case, I visit the beach, the beach, uh, the spina, uh, the spina beach playa. Um, and you? I don't know. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. Sorry, my internet uh, <laughs> died. Oh, no worries, but everything is okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let me tell you, right now we're talking about what did you do last vacation? You went to the fun fair. Uh, what do you like? What do you dislike uh, in the fun fair? For example, consuma. Eh, si bar o eh, Playland Park, for example. So tell me about you. How was your vacation? What did you do? And did you go to any fun fair? Okay, in my case, I don't like too much the. How do you say feria? Fun fair. Fun fair. Uh huh. But um, I went to the Cerro Verde with my oh. family. Mm -hmm. And there, and there, um, had um carousel and balloons. So my little cousin mm -hmm. play with with her his her friends, and there, and I only ate a lot of cotton candy because I love it. Very nice. <laughs> and I know. Um and the other days I went to Salvador del Mundo. Mm -hmm. Only that. The other days I only watch movies and serials with my mom. Nice. What do you watch? Um Tur Turkish serials. Oh, so poperas. Oh, okay, yeah. so poperas. Wow. Turkish. Turkish, yes. Really? But this is no, I have heard many things about the Turkish 
uh, soap opera. They people said that's super good. Bella yes. Mexicans. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, um, mm, they have many dramas. More than Mexican. More drama. Yes. Oh my! This is, but this is not like Koreans. Why? Yeah. Why? But because Koreans, something happened. And, oh my gosh! I'm dying and something like. That. <laughs> Yes, yeah. For example, and the last epi uh, the last episode. episode? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do you say villain? The villain. The villain, mm -hmm. and died. Uh, but um, uh, she pulled uh the um, sixth floor. Uh -huh. But never, never blew. <laughs> But she died. Uh -huh. So <laughs> yes. it turned out blood. Never, not uh, nothing. No blood. No, no blood. And Only died. <laughs> okay. Only drama. So yeah, actually, yes, it's more drama than Mexicans. Do you have <laughs> any sub opera that you recommend? Mm, Turkish, for example, Sila and. Ah, I see that Sila was in channel 12 or channel 6 here in El Salvador. I don't know. I guess. Uh -huh. I watch um, Netflix and on Netflix and, and on YouTube. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to look for so Sila. I'm going to try to look for that on, on YouTube. Yes, and um Let's see. Ciudad Cruel. Uh huh. It's a. It's that good. Okay, so I'm gonna start by Zilla and see what happens. Okay. And then I'm gonna be, oh my god, like drama. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's good. Thank you. I really appreciate the recommendation, Jacqueline. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Welcome. So let's go back with the others. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Pum, 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 pum. Okay, hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. Hi, Miss. Hi, okay, welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi, do you practice with your partner? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Let me ask you, somebody here went to, to any fanfare? A good on for any of the carousels? Or something like that? Somebody here? No one? No teacher. No, okay. So no phone search for anybody. In case, no teacher. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, so let's move on to the next topic. The next, uh, let's see, Jose, can you read that next slide? Okay, teacher, what have you been doing? Uh -huh. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead, Nothing. go ahead. Maybe just arrive. The... Okay, I have just arrived. What is the meaning for arrive? Llegando. Uh -huh. Como justo acabo de llegar. Okay, there you go. Next example, Jacqueline and David. You're going to read the next one. First, Jacqueline. Have you been reading? David? Yes, I've read three books. Okay, super. Then we have, oh, what is this? The present perfect and present perfect continuous. Do you know the difference between present perfect and continuous? Yes. Uh -huh. What is the difference? The difference is when you use the present continue mm -hmm. uh, our action activities uh, make it at the moment uh, Um, uh, mm -hmm. at the moment mm -hmm. uh, but 
Um, um, I, I will, I, 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 I might uh, okay. use the pass when the, 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 the use uh, whatever sentence. Okay, but you are super good. Yes, and it's related with the past as well. But let me give you as well an example. So let's see, Kat, can you read both examples? Okay, it says, my shoes are dirty, dirty, dirty. Mm -hmm. And I've been playing football. Okay, so you see, what is, uh, one is the result and one is the cause. What is the cause here? Playing football. Oh, there you go. Very good. So, Damari, read number two. Okay. My jeans are wet. I have been washing my car. Very good. What is the cause? Washing my car. Wash the car. Very good. Next, uh, let's see Jose Alfredo. I am tired. I've been climbing a mountain. Okay, very good. Climbing a mountain. So what is, what well, I'm tired. What is the cost? Climbing a mountain. Okay, there you go. What, you see one is in present continuous, uh, pre present perfect continuous. So in other words, let's see, Jacqueline, can you read what is that? What is the difference? Present perfect. Mm -hmm. Oh, emphasis on result. He has repaired the car. Very good. Now, Jacqueline, you read the other part, please. Okay, emphasis on the activity. He has been repairing the car for two hours. Very good. You pay attention. One is the result, and the other, and the other is the action or the cause. For example, when you are reading, or when you are explaining something, and you give a lot of emphasis in the direction or oh, for that you're gonna use present perfect you say i have been repairing the car for two hours you the emphasis you see is the time and you say i have he has repaired the car it's more specific yes mm -hmm. but the other remember the present continuous is the time i have been reading this book for five days I have been watching a Barbie movie for three days. So that's an example. <laughs> so let's see. Damari, can you read the next one? Okay. Present. I so I have uh -huh. words. Mm -hmm. I have words in, words in the inform in the past, and I can tell you is you. It is? I don't know pronunciation. I can tell you it is. It is? Stressful. Very good. It's stressful. Very good. Sorry. You see, the what it says, uh, Kat, can you read it? Kat? Yes. Um, I work in the inform. Mm -hmm. In the past, and I can tell you it is stressful. Okay. Talking about your life experience so far. Very good. Life experience. Cut, continue. Already, yet, never, ever, just, always. Okay. Do you know what is the meaning for already? Como ya. Aha, very good. Yet? Todavía. Ajá, es como un no todavía. Eh, por ejemplo, I, have, I haven't eh, gone to Guatemala yet. Ok. Then we have never. What is never? Nunca. Ok. Ever? Ever means como siempre. Siempre. Ajá, just. 
Solo. Ajá. En always. Siempre. Oh, siempre. Ajá. Siempre. Very good. Pat, continue. One, twice. Uh, Three, I don't know. Four. Two, four times. Okay, very good. What is the meaning for once? Una vez. Twice? For example, I can say, I have eaten toro. Do you know what is a toro? What? Ah? Huh? What did you say? Toro. You... I have eaten toro. Or turtle. Somebody says turtle. I have eaten turtle once in my life. In my life, never. Okay, somebody say never. Yeah, yeah, in my life, never. Okay. Never. You have never eaten porto? Actually, no. it's, delicious. it's delicious. I'm not the best one. What about snails? Snail, como Gary? Snails? No. No, you can say, I have never eaten snails. I have never in my life, and I promise I will never. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I I, I accept. Uh -huh. What else? What about the others? Esos son los snails. What about the others? What about rabbit? No, I don't like that. Oh, yes. Yeah. I have eaten rabbit once in my life. Okay. So would you do it again? No, because when I tried it, my mom said that it was chicken. And I was only six years old. And I trust on her. <laughs> you don't trust in your mom anymore. <laughs> no, I don't. No, but you're right. I mean, it's kind of chicken, but... Yeah, I'm sorry for what happened. <laughs> it was my rabbit. So I cried when I realized It was that your it. pet? Yeah. That's why. Wow. I'm sorry for wow. your pet. I have one, one rule in my house that you can eat. For example, in the past, we have rabbits. We can eat whatever rabbit that was in the house except for pets. If the pet has a name, if the rabbit has a name, means it's a pet. It's part of the family. The others, no. I'm really sorry, Kat, for what happened with your pet. Thank you. <laughs> so let's see. Kat, can you be the other part? How many? And examples. How many times have you been to Mexico? Uh -huh. And how many times have you eaten snails? Okay, very good, thank you. David, read the other part. I have been working in the info for two weeks and I just finished it. Okay, very good. So remember, because if you have, when you are talking, you have to say, for two weeks, you have to emphasize, like Rosa de Guadalupe over there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> okay, you have to emphasize. So continue, David about the durations. Very good. Jose, continue. All day, all morning, all night long. Okay. For example, remember, you have to emphasize. You don't want to say for or since. You have to say the time. For example, in my case, I have been arguing, arguing means peleando. I have been arguing all the whole day, all morning. Oh my gosh. And you can give the you can give the emphasis, okay? Next, continue, David. Since four. Okay, very good. Since and four means direction. Next one. Uh, continue. Uh, let's see, David. How long? Okay, what is the meaning for how long? Uh, 
¿Cuánto tiempo? ¿Qué yeah. tanto? Ajá, very good. Long time. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, Jose, continue with example. Okay, teacher, how long have, have you been using the computer? Uh -huh. How long have you been taking English class? Okay, you say one is how many times? You say one or two or twice or once. And the other one is how long? You have to give a, a time frame, okay? So question with this part? Questions? Are you sure? If I ask you to practice, do you do it? Yes, miss. Okay. I think that it, you're still post-vacation, right? Everybody's quiet today. This is post-vacation. Because it's the first day after vacation. I know. <laughs> It's hard. <laughs> I know. What time do you usually went to sleep? Uh, go to sleep when during vacation. What time do you sleep? In my case, I went to sleep at nine during vacation time. What about the others? What time do you go to sleep? during vacation. Mm, 10 o'clock. Ah, okay. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. But 10 o'clock is like good because it's after the class. No, you're good, you're good in that case. I thought that you said seven. And at seven I can say, oh yes, you are right. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Damari, can you read the first example? I worked for 12 hours yesterday. Okay, you said yesterday means past simple. You, it's impossible to use yesterday for present perfect or present perfect continuous. Jacqueline, read the next one, please. I have worked for 12 hours. Very good, Jose. Can you read the next one? I have been work working for twelve hours. Okay, very good. Remember, for twelve hours. There hour. Uh -huh. for twelve hours. Okay, remember the Rosa Guadalupe. You have to do it with that emphasis, with the drama when you're doing it. So I need your help. Let's create some sentences. Uh, by the way, this is a structure. You see, you have the subject, have or has. In the case for present perfect, you have been. And examples using ing in the present perfect continuous. In the present perfect, subject, have and has. And the verb in past, past participle. We have a negative similar, but you using haven't. And you have a just no questions. You have have you with the same structure. Question with this part? No. Okay, anybody? Are you sure? Yes, me. Okay, is it clear like the water this part? Yes. Okay, so let's do practice time. I have two sentences. I have, I have dated someone and I have been dating someone, okay? So, but one, you can give more emphasis. For example, I have, I have been dating someone for three weeks. Remember, the emphasis is the time. So I need your help. You have one, some examples here. I have a study hard, do exercise, work too much, take driving classes, get little sleep. What is the meaning for get little sleep? Siesta. Very good. That's the snap. Okay. So I need your help. You have one minute and you have to create the sentences using present perfect and using present perfect continuous. Okay. I write it, yeah. How much time do you have to write your sentences? 
How much time? How much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene? To create the sentences. One hour? One, one day? Minute. Ah, one, one minute. minute. Okay, go ahead. As much as you can. Fifty eight se uh, seconds. Thirty eight seconds. Twelve. Okay, everybody finished? Everybody finished? No, teacher. Okay, <laughs> one more More thanks. <laughs> yeah, my mom and your mom, mom. Okay. Uh huh. Ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see. I need one person to get me one that is there. And you can use other vocabulary. Jose, I start by you. You give me one sentence. In present perfect, present perfect continuous. Okay. Uh, I, ha uh, I have a deal exercise. And I have been doing exercise. Give me the time. For three days, for two hours. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I have the exercise. I have been doing the exercise for uh, for one week. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Jose, next volunteer. Um, Jacqueline. Okay, uh, take driving classes. Uh huh. Okay, um, I have taken driving classes and I have been taking driving classes for three weeks. Nice, that's good. So, you're gonna get the, the, the test, right? The driving test. 
¿sí? Good luck, when are you going to take it, Jacqueline? Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. When are you going to take the quiz, the test? Cuando? Um, um, yes. Um, In the next month, this month? Next month. Okay, so good luck. You can do it, Jacqueline. No, uh, <laughs> I have been taking driving classes. See for three weeks because I only drive uh, automat automatic. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, so you're but driving. Uh -huh. I learned to a standard. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Okay, so that's good. It's difficult, but you can do it. And then you're going to yeah. teach me, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Jacqueline, choose the next volunteer. Mm, Damari. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I have. I use the work in the box. You can you can use an extra. No worries. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I clean my. I I have clean my house. Mm -hmm. My house. And I have. I have been cleaning my house for. Three uh, weeks. Okay, that means every day you clean it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. Damari, next volunteer. Um, Kat. Um, okay, I've been dating someone for almost one year. That is present perfect continuous. Okay, so very good. The cat choose one more volunteer, David. Uh huh, David. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I have watched a soccer match in the TV yesterday. Mm -hmm. I have been eating fruits for three days in vacation. Is it real? Yes. Wow, okay, so that's enjoying the, the vacation time. Okay, that's good, that's good. So what kind of games do you regularly watch? David. I don't listen, teacher. I'm sorry, what kind of games do you regularly watch? Do you watch soccer, volleyball, baseball? Ah, it's soccer. National soccer or international soccer? International soccer, <laughs> national, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's special. Okay, I have one activity for you. Uh, let's see, uh, Damari, can you read the instruction or the questions? What duties do you do at home? Uh -huh. What duties do you do at work? Very good. What is the difference between chores and duties? Somebody. What is the difference? No idea, teacher. Sure, it is que hacer eso. Uh -huh. Yes. yes. And short, and do this. Like activities. Okay. Deberes. Deberes. Uh -huh. That's right. Que hacer es y deberes. That's right. So you have a little homework. So you're going to select, for example, the shorts. And you're gonna select the chores that you do in your house or in your job, okay? So for example, you can say, oh, miss, I clean the house. I go to my English class. I stay at home. So your homework is to basically mention. This is one example. In my house or at home, in my case, I do the dishes, I set the table, I clean the house. 
but I have sweeping the floor. I have been sweeping the floor. In, at work, I clean the classroom, I erase the board, I set the desk, and I check the books. This is my routine about me, but you have to create yours using the chores or duties, okay? Clear? Clear. Okay, so any question with this, uh, with this homework? No. Is it for today or is it for tomorrow? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, there you go. So remember, the first activity to do when we start the class is going to be explaining your duties or your chores. Okay? Okay. 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 Any okay, question teacher. for me before you go to sleep? No, teacher. No. No. Okay. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay? <laughs> Don't watch some opera. No Netflix. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. Goodbye, goodbye, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.